Okie dokie, everybody. Welcome back. You're here at the Fox Den with Peter Voss, the Papa Fox, and we are going to continue playing Pillars of Eternity. This is going to be take uh, two or three of attempting to deal out with this. In the last episode, we had cleared out the rest of this level and uh, put the little dinguses in each of these uh, daily bobs. That's all technical terms. Um, in the meantime, I had also gone back and gotten more camping supplies and uh, took a bit of a rest. And now, we're going to try this once more. Um, we've set up a trap. I've saved right at this location. I've given all of ourselves uh, some bonus stuff. You're going to move just a little bit over there. Um, and now we're going to see how well this goes this time. Um, this will be interesting. So mm -hmm. of course. Let's, let's see how this goes. Okay, first... Hey there. And you? Hey. Okay. Now, back here. Okay, you. Get armor up. You get your armor up. Okay. Okay. Let's go ahead and immediately drop an arcane assault there. You are going to attack. Actually, wait. Yes, get, get the armor up. Okay. Now get the scroll of protection going. Oh boy. Right, now. Let's. Beneficial. Let's actually uh, take care of that. I think if we can mess up our enemy's uh, stuff, it'll be helpful. Okay, now we're definitely going to want extra damage. All three of you, go ahead and attack this guy. Um, first, though, let's actually go and uh, toss a fireball. I'm going to attack here. Did you give us that extra, uh, no, let's go with the Dire Blessings. Give us another fireball, please. Okay. Now, give us this. That'll be wonderful if you could. <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead and see how many of these folks we can stun. Uh, actually, no. Cancel that. You're going to go with this. And... Oh, I didn't give him the potion. Dang it. Oh, well. Oh. Oh, he's the one that's affected. Okay. Well, that's just great. And there we go. No more of those spells. Let's go ahead and smack down another one of these. Okay. Oh, Peter Voss, go back and uh, start smacking this guy. Uh, now let's go ahead and protect ourselves. Okay. Now. Leaving them dazed. What does dazed do? Okay, let's go ahead and uh, daze and confuse them. Okay, I'll use that. Okay. You, let's see if we have any protection against uh, Will. Uh, mm hmm. Paralyze the attack. Um, let's see. Let's. Huh. Um. Yeah, let's go ahead and do this. That should help. That's rough! And... Ah, no! 
actually, and... Ah, my goodness, Pater! What is going on with you, buddy? Okay, let's go ahead and get that to you. Oh boy, oh boy. Holy meditation, please. Now, frightened and accuracy 10%. Let's go with this, because we definitely want to take these guys out as soon as we possibly can. Okay, give me back some stuff, please. You are going to switch to this and attack here. You're also going to use the Sunless ga uh, Grasshopper. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and consecrate. Actually, no, let's move forward. Now, we are going to consecrate the ground. Kana, you are taken over. Huh. Well. Actually, going to do this. Hey there. Oh my god. My goodness gracious me. Okay. <laughs> this might be a bit more difficult than I had thought. Yep, there, down we go. Okay, let's go ahead and see if we can do this once more. Mm hmm. Load. My goodness gracious. So, how are you all doing? <laughs> hey. I'm doing uh, swimmingly. Okay. Where did that... Oh, he does have that potion. Why didn't it show up? Okay. Alright. Okay, set that up. Mm-hmm. Hey. Go ahead and run over there, lure them. Okay. What can we get? Oh, right, Kana. Oh, can't do that now that battle has been joined. Okay, right, of course. Tangle foot. There we go. Okay. Get us some armor going. You get your armor going, Kana. Attack this fellow. Okay. Now, if you could give us some bonus to this, that would be wonderful. Okay. Let's go ahead and do that. Insect swarm, actually. That should do quite a bit. Okay, swift strikes, please. Actually, no. Let's do it. Okay, there's that. Now, fireball away, if you will. Okay. Now, if you give us some extra attack, that would be wonderful. That'd be just fine and dandy. Okay, another fireball. Great. And let's burn that last fireball right here. Okay, you're gonna move up. And you're gonna see if you can bugger them up. Okay. Get Perdo. No, let's get an AoE heal. Actually, no. You are going to cancel out that effect. 
Kana. Time to get up close and personal. <laughs> Let's deal with that specter. Okay. What? Oh my god, no! <laughs> what is going What's on here? Okay. I don't think we can do this. I don't... I think we're gonna come back later for this. Um... <laughs> Sometimes, you know, you just... Uh, that's one of the things I like about this game. I mean, we could just sit here and try to cheese through it, and maybe we might actually win, just like we did with uh, Lord hey Vader. There. Um, but we're not going to do that. The we're gonna come back life. after we get another party member, and then we're gonna go see how well things go. So... Let's go and be on our way. <laughs> um, at some point, we'll be strong enough that when we come back, we can... Uh... Oh, we have that uh, new wand. I, I forgot to equip that on uh, Aloth. So let's go ahead and do that once we get to up here. Uh, but there are instances where it will just get too difficult in the endless paths for you to actually progress. And, and you know, that happens. Okay... Oh yeah, oh yeah, this is exactly what we want for Aloth. Let's take a look at the shields. 16, 16, 8, 8, fine, bashing 2. Mm, we're gonna keep what we have. Sixteen da, 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 preservation. Eh, meh, meh, meh. Oh, right. I was going to give... Uh, let's see if we can give Kana a better bow. Uh, 16 to 24. Nah. Mm, damaging 3. Nah. Oh, 25% of damage inflicted over time. That's pretty useful, actually. Don't need that. Nope. I think we're good. Okay. Let's continue on. Yeah, there will be a point where the endless paths just get too difficult. Uh, and you do have to go back, but once you get to that point, then you can actually uh, pass through quite a bit of the rest of the game uh, relatively unhindered. This is kind of meant to be something that you accomplish after you go through almost everything else. Because um, there is one heck of a boss that beats the pants off of every other boss you're ever going to meet in the rest of this game, minus the DLC, which I have not played, so I have no idea how that will go. Oh yeah, so we did, as I mentioned, we did uh, uh, pick over the loot here. I managed to find the... Uh, Sweet uh, secret lever. So there's that. Oh boy. Yeah, we're gonna have to come back here later. Um, we can get another party member, uh, and having somebody else aside from Kana in the party would probably be a better idea. Um, okay. Uh, besides Kana and and possibly Aloth, uh, I don't really go for wizards much in this game. Um, I mean, fireball is pretty useful, but. Uh, uh, well, there we go. Okay. Right. Let's go ahead and actually see if there's anything here. There is not. So. We can now go to the Wood End Plains. Let's go and do that. Yeah, sure, why not? Because I had you guys sit through all of that, we are actually going to see if we can clear this map. This episode might go a little over, but that should be okay. That's a fairly large map. Actually, no, we, we, we'll see how far we can get. Okay. Let's see what lies this way. Yes, let's see what lies this way. Oh, hey, cool. I think that's uh, some of the uh, backers. Oh yeah, cool. Yeah, there we go. That's pretty neat. Yeah, Obsidian did a lot of really nice stuff where you can actually get memorialized in the game and all that. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed we do. Burned Lady. I don't know why they would name a, a, a mushroom a Burned Lady. It seems a little yeah! odd. Let's go ahead and deal with this fellow. Ooh, he just knocked Ada right down. I think we can probably do this even without uh, 
<laughs> using a spell or a special ability, so that's good. See, uh, the uh, <laughs> Endless Path really gets you uh, ready for anything else that it does. Well, there we go. We cut him apart. And we get some number. Awakened Wood. <laughs> Has a trace of life in it. Mm -hmm. Awesome. I'll see sneaky. what I can find. I, uh, actually, I, I don't tend to like uh, coming up across on things uh, just by charging in. It's not exactly the most fun thing to do. <laughs> sneaky, sneaky, sneaky snake, sneaky snake. Okay, what do we got here? A deer cap? It's like a nightcap, but for deer. <laughs> I'll teach you a lesson! I'll teach you a lesson! <laughs> ah, there we go. Already he is injured. Prime mode here. Badly injured. So it only takes him to get to uh, near death. And there he is. <laughs> Wonderful. And down he goes. Right. Let's take that. Let's actually go up here and Light sneak a snake. Sound. We'll keep to our side. Okay, so far still nothing. And looks like we have a corpse. We can uh, corpse coal. We can loot a dead adventurer, spirit shield, and a bunch of money. Okay, let's uh, continue on our merry way. Light, flame, and sound. We'll keep to ourselves. I always love Durance's quotes for sneaky sneaks. It's, it's just pretty I'll fun. Teach, it's, it's awesome. I'll teach you. I'll the teach you. There we go. As soon as we can, we're going to give uh, Durance an arquebus. That'll, that'll make him uh, a little bit more of a heavy hitter. I mean, I like his staff, but uh, clerics really aren't. You don't want them up in the air. Uh, I'm up in the thick of things. He's gonna be healing. He needs to stay alive. Keeping an eye on. Oh, by the way, I did not know this, but the the podcast or not the podcast, the uh, uh, stream that I watch, uh, Critical Role. If you like Dungeons and Dragons, I would highly suggest you watch it. But uh, Matt Mercer is not only the voice of Ader, he's also the voices uh, for Aloth. And he is an absolute pleasure to listen to and to watch. He's he's the dungeon master for Vox Machina with Critical Role. And it's it's amazing. I'm, I'm um, about 40 or so episodes in, and I just am eating it up. It is so much fun. Let's see here. Show him how it's done! Uh, we will show it. I'll show him how it's done. Uh, right after we do it. But that's kind of like, you know, defeats the purpose. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Oh, looks like he has defenses, so... And we have a take even taken a small wall. Aider's a little bit worse for wear on his, on his health. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. I shall be quiet as a calm sea, which is not very quiet. <laughs> Kana is also just hilarious to listen to sometimes. I don't think there's really much of much more of a storyline. I'm kind of disappointed that Kana's storyline is completed so early. Um, when I when I was doing my uh, my solo playthrough, uh, i.e., not on YouTube, um, after we got to uh, uh, the bowels of Cade Nua, there wasn't really a whole much left uh, um, to really discover. So, eh, we'll, we'll see what happens with that. It's one of those characters I, I'd really like to get to know more. I mean, there's, like, a, with Durance, I, uh, I understand why they don't do what they did with Durance with everybody, uh, but with Durance, you get continual conversations, um, then you discover things new. They really did a good job of parsing out his narrative, throughout the entire game, uh, which is kind of neat. Um, and I can already notice that there are a bunch of uh, changes uh, that they made um, in Tyranny as far as character development and everything goes. Like, you don't get everything right off the bat, which is nice. Uh -huh. 
Looks like we can't get in here for some strange reason. Always have to be very, very quiet when you're hunting aberrations. Okay. Sparrow's nest is tucked between two angled slats. That's a little odd bit of information to include, but okay. Just like in Diablo, like ye old Diablo 2, you sneak around the edge of the map and then you uh, then you go ahead and uh, charge through the middle. Because that's just how you do it. It's not, of course, the character thing. Well, I don't know. I mean, would adventurers in this sort of circumstance, would they try to actually um, go through all of this stuff? Okay, cool. There's loot. Can't do that. Okay. Tucked under the flap of this bedroll is a relic of some kind. A small conch shell strung with seaweed. We're not going to go ahead and look at every single one of these um, just because there's a lot of reading and... I don't know if you guys particularly in would enjoy that, so... Oh! Ah, that, that came literally out of nowhere. <laughs> oh, holy. Oh, so already near death. <laughs> well, okay then. And what does the flame reveal? I don't know what the flame reveals. The flame reveals that I'm getting hungry. Okay? The flame reveals that I don't know what it reveals. <laughs> Okay, what do we got up here? Oh, cool. Okay, cool. I think I remember this. Let's go ahead and wait till we can get uh, back in our marching order. Alrighty, and in the next episode, we're of course going to leave this. Uh, we're going to finish up here, and then we'll have another episode. See what we have to see here. Lioness is under that. Yeah. I bet that lion down there, he must have been like uh, one of the kids that got uh, run off or something. Because that, you know, that generally happens. Uh, the kids will uh, grow up and then their parents will shove them off. So there we go. Dead pilgrim. Eh, 9 to 13. Ew. There you go. What do we got here? Waves are roughly chiseled in the stone. They grasp at Andra's beloved moon like curling fingers. Okay, well, if you've enjoyed, go ahead and hit that like button or give me some feedback if you prefer. Uh, or if you enjoy my other videos, then a subscription to the channel would be much appreciated. As always, it's great to see you all here at the Fox Den. I hope you come back next time and pull up a chair for some more Pillars of Eternity. Alrighty, you take care now. Bye.